Hey everybody, this is Gem Queen, aka Game Show Guru. I'm going to rant about a game show this time, being as shocked as I am. One of my um, viewers actually gave me a, um, a topic for this, uh, for this month. Game shows I despise. I want to discuss a few game shows in the past that I wish was destroyed. I really do not like these game shows for purposes and reasons. And one of them I'm going to talk to you today is the CBS daytime version of the $25,000 pyramid. Yeah. Was not a fan of it. Watched it so many times on USA. Watched it on Game Show uh, Network. And wasn't really that impressed by it. The original pyramids before that, the 10, the 20, the nighttime 25, and the 50,000, I was totally impressed. You know, watching the videos on YouTube, you know, watching on Game Show Network, was absolutely impressed. I was disappointed that only Game Show Network only broadcasted very few episodes of the $10,000 pyramid on CBS, along with playing only a few episodes of the $20,000 pyramid on Game Show Network as well. No 50,000, no nighttime 25, which, in my opinion, was kind of disappointing from CBS. I mean, from Game Show Network. But when the $25,000 pyramid came out in September 20th, 1982, all the way to the end of the year of December 31st, 1987 on CBS Daytime, I wish the show only survived, only should have survived two years. Because, in my opinion, it sucked. The reason why I don't like the, the daytime version of the $25,000 pyramid, and here's my reasoning. Number one, it's only, it took a season to bring back the pyramid after the $50,000 pyramid. Okay, why bring it back in the first place? Okay, you couldn't do any better than the $50,000 pyramid. I like the original pyramids when it was broadcasted in New York because this was one of the popular shows that stayed in New York on a network. You know, this program lasted six years and a month on the ABC network and broadcasted in New York. Even the syndicated runs had the, the, the first $25,000 pyramid syndicated run lasted five seasons while the $50,000 pyramid lasted only a few months. And that was the final show to be broadcasted in the network of ABC Studios in New York. I love the enthusiasm from everybody there, everybody who was, you know, guest stars from there, from all, you know, different types of shows on CBS, ABC, NBC, you know, they all were amazing. Every contestant was funny, you know, the show was amazing, Dick Clark was awesome, everybody on that show was amazing. I loved the enthusiasm from the audience, I loved everything about the show, but when the show came back in 1982 to 87, I kind of wished for its downfall after the third year. Because of these reasons. One, all they did was add $5,000 more to the till. Okay, I'm not impressed. Two, NBC has done so many game shows during that time that even broke the jackpot number of 25000 So really, who cares? That was another thing that really pissed me off with CBS. Number three, it was moved from Los Angeles, which I thought was very depressing. They really changed the set. Everybody didn't feel like that, you know, the show was worth watching, because all it was was the same thing. You know, all they did was play the same game move it to Los Angeles, and play the same dollar values as you normally did in the original $20,000 pyramid. Or sort of playing the original nighttime $25,000 pyramid, which I thought was more superior than, say, the daytime. I, I was, you know, when I was a kid watching this, I, I really felt bored. You know, because the only thing that impressed me was the winner's circle. That was the only thing that impressed me as a child. When I got older watching it on USA, I was like, okay, okay, they won, so what? Move on, let's play the, let's play the winner's circle. 
And even when they, you know, when it was, you know, when they got to the winner's circle and when they didn't win, you know, the 10,000 or the 25,000, I still didn't, I didn't feel any sympathy for the, for the contestant. And it, it's not like saying it's the celebrity's fault. It's just, I don't care. I mean, you can go on Wheel of Fortune or um, Sail the Century or, or Scrabble and you can win, you know, 10,000 for just playing a word game. That's like even simpler than, than the $25,000 pyramid. When the $100,000 pyramid came in, I was kind of a little bit more frustrated. And I, I'll explain it by this. The $100,000 pyramid is just the same similar game, except playing it as mostly a term tournament schedule. The only sad part is the tournament was not really what I considered entertaining. And even if it was a ratings hit or whatever you want to call it, I don't care. When the tournament came out, the only thing I felt uncomfortable by the show was you played the same game, which I felt was so drawn out and so boring. It was like, you want to see them win the $100,000. Just play the winner's circle. You know, you got 10 chances in the winner's circle, even for, you know, a 25 minute, you know, you know, a 20, you know, a 25 or 24 minute series, you know, episode, you know, play like the, you know, play the winner's circle like eight times and then just get it over with. No one wants to see the main game. And then, you know, watching the $100,000 Pyramid on USA and Game Show Network and on Nighttime where I came from in Seattle, I just really wasn't that impressed. And when somebody won, guess what happened? Everybody who was in the tournament is dropped. The person who won the 100000 they won. The series goes back to its normal schedule. And the nighttime plays the exact same thing as the daytime. I think what they should have done was did it like they did in the, in the $50,000 pyramid. They should have followed the rules from that. And that really frustrated me as, 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 as a watcher. And I think, you know, CBS didn't do a good job keeping this show on the air, keeping it on the run, making it popular. And to a lot of my family, my friends, a lot of my viewers don't like this show. And I agree. I despise the $25,000 pyramid. I wanted to see the nighttime more than the daytime on USA. I've only seen very few episodes on YouTube, which is kind of disappointing, but as YouTube uh, standards and practices, being assholes as they are, I had to shut them down, which I'm very disappointed. There were a lot of episodes on there that, you know, by uh, by uh, uh, Game Over 49, he had the most of them and enjoyed every one of them. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it very much. I enjoyed every episode from there. You know, it, it was a funny show. I, you know, I think everything about it was fair. You know, Bill ran it, you know, perfectly. Now, I'm not saying Dick Clark was terrible as a host. He was great, but I just think doing the the the, uh, the the show itself after 81, I think technically the show should have been retired. Because when the $25,000 pyramid came out on CBS twice, the $100,000 pyramid twice, I wasn't that impressed. Now, I think the nighttime version with John Davidson was done perfectly because they got everything right. Pardon me. Okay? I loved how John Davidson did the program. And it was almost as similar to the $50,000 pyramid, you know, 10 years later. The only sad part was it didn't survive a long run like it did the $50,000 pyramid in 1981. The only reason why I liked the, the, the last version of the pyramid, you know, with John Davidson, because it was done right. I enjoyed everything about it. You know, it was played just like the $50,000 Pyramid, you know, 10 years ago. And it was done right. I loved everything about it. John Davidson was hilarious. I mean, he was a great guy. I mean, he was really funny. He always got me laughing every time. Ever since Time Machine and the, long, and the, the, the final run of the Hollywood Squares. I really, you know, I, I was impressed by... The early twenty, the, the early pyramids, those were pyramids that are worth watching. They're entertaining. Everything about it was done right. 
But when the later version of, of the pyramid came out, you're going to be sadly disappointed. It's like if you originated from the original 10 and the 20 and the $25,000 pyramids, even if you did see the $50,000 pyramid in your area, as you know, when you were younger, and then saw this, did you see any good improvement? If anybody out here on YouTube would give me some comments about this show, about what was the best improvement of the twenty of the twenty five thousand dollar pyramid that made, you know, that was mostly kind of like what they did in the twenty thousand dollar pyramid or the ten thousand dollar pyramid or the nighttime twenty five thousand dollar pyramid or the fifty thousand dollar pyramid, please give me some comments about that because I kind of really didn't see anything they did to make the twenty five thousand dollar pyramid daytime or the hundred thousand dollar pyramid nighttime better. Because when I was growing up watching this, I hated it from the first episode. I really did not want to see another version of the pyramid. It's not because of Dick Clark. It's not because of Bob Stewart. Because the man was genius. Because there's a lot of game shows that he's done during that time that I was majorly impressed by. That he did. And I think he did a great job. Whether they were failures, whether they didn't stay uh, stand a long run or not. Those type of shows, like, you know, like what he's done, including the ten and the $20,000 Pyramid, you know, there was many game shows that I'll do other um, videos about that I want to really discuss uh, with the game show uh, viewers out there. Because technically, the, um, you know, Bob Stewart is a great legacy like Mark Goodson, but I think there was a lot of great game shows that Bob Stewart has done during his 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 run of, uh, of his own run that I think he did a majorly impressive that really impressed me growing up and I really was impressed by his work and I hope this uh, video will uh, will kind of see a little light from the game show viewers today or any gurus out here now so all I just want to say is if you have any other criterias of why you hate the $25,000 pyramid or why you do like the $25,000 pyramid please put a comment because I'd like to see something you know I'd like to see something that you guys saw that I didn't see so if you could do that that would be awesome thank you all I'm going to do another video about some other game shows I despise you know, sometime in this week so I hope you enjoy this video I really hope that you enjoy it uh, like it, comment. Thank you all, everybody. This is Game Show Guru signing off. Bye-bye, everybody.